This is my first vlog entry. Uh, I started the year off with a challenge to myself to try to turn $100 into $10,000 by the end of the year. Uh, I'm on my way out to an auction in Spencer, Massachusetts. The auctioneer is Bill Eckleberry. I've had a lot of good luck buying at his auctions. He has a box lot auction that starts at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, today is January 7th. And I, I looked at the preview online on auctionzip.com and uh, there were quite a few interesting things. Not as many as I tend to like to see, but I, uh, I have high hopes. Uh, early January auctions tend to be a little more sparsely attended, and so uh, my hope is to find some interesting things for not a lot of money, and we'll see. I'm hoping to take some pictures and some videos when I'm out there, and we'll see how it all goes. Uh, but this is my first entry. Thanks. It's about quarter to three, and the auction starts at three o'clock, uh, so I do need to hurry up and get back in there. Uh, I just got done previewing for about 45 minutes, and there's a lot of interesting things. There are quite a few people in there, too. Um, uh, I noticed some uh, 1950s Connecticut, state of Connecticut uh, trailer license plates, and license plates for trailers tend to be pretty rare. Uh, so I'm kind of curious about those. Uh, I saw some depression glass that I uh, suspect I might be able to get. Uh, there are, uh, there's a, uh, an oak swivel desk chair, uh, probably about 1920 or so, uh, that looks pretty interesting. Uh, some door knobs and just a few odds and ends. Uh, we'll see if I have any luck tonight. Uh, if not, well, I'll figure out an estate sale to go to, but uh, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I had originally hoped to be able to do some recording at the preview, but I got there kind of late, and I needed both hands to uh, to be able to go through boxes, so I wasn't really able to hold on to a camera. Hopefully in the future I can uh, come up with a better solution for that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to close this off and head into the auction. I wish me luck. Thanks. Okay, I'm at the uh, midpoint of the, the section of the auction that I'm going to be going to, and uh, I've gotten a few things. Uh, there's a little bit of a break between what I've uh, purchased and what I'm interested in, so I thought I'd give a quick update while I've got some daylight here. And the first thing that I got was this very cute little match safe, uh, and it's uh, made by Bryant Mays, uh, which is a firm out of London. I have another Bryant and Mays uh, match safe at home uh, that I know is worth quite a few dollars, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I also got a John Deere harvester, and I think that's going to do pretty well for me. I paid $10 for this. Uh, I also picked up three boxes of Cuzone uh, flatware. Uh, I only paid $2 for these, uh, and they're all these tablespoons. Uh, I looked online, and geez, they seemed like they were wicked expensive, uh, even on eBay. So I, I have a feeling I might do pretty well with those. And then the last thing that I got was this dress form. Uh, a little bit show. There we go. Uh, kind of backlit, but you can see that. And I paid $10 for that. So I spent $22 plus the buyer's premium so far. Doing pretty well. Going back in for more. Okay, last entry of the night. It's uh, uh, coming up on 6 o'clock now, and the regular auction is getting ready to get started, but the box lot auction is done, 
and I have done my buying. I have uh, purchased eight lots altogether. Uh, I would video them for you, but uh, they uh, it's too dark outside. You, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, but I got a, uh, got a couple of box lots of books and, um, and uh, a couple of interesting lamps and some baskets to, to go with the things that I did already show you. Uh, here is my receipt for my purchases. And I don't know if you can see down there, I spent $54.24 altogether. That was uh, $48 in bids plus a 13% buyer's premium uh, in an unprecedented move. An auctioneer has actually lowered his buyer's premium. Uh, to 13% if you're paying cash. So I did. Uh, it would be 15% with a check or um, or 18% with a credit card. So I, I saved a couple of couple of pennies there. Uh, anyways, had a good time at the auction. Still have money left in my budget. I think I'm going to do pretty well with the stuff that I got. So we'll see. Thanks.